Thank you. Is there a second? It has been moved and seconded that the minutes be adopted as written. All those in favor would say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. The minutes shall be adopted as written. Motions for leave of absence, leave to resign. Also, I'd like to acknowledge at this time that Senator Jamal Moss is absent today as he is attending a youth conference in Trinidad and Tobago. Senator Kwesi Thompson is in Grand Bahama participating in the official launch of the upcoming blockchain conference, which will be scheduled in Grand Bahama June 22nd to the 24th. Mm -hmm. Swearing in of new senators, communications by the president, messages from the Governor General. Messages from the House of Assembly. Laying of documents by ministers. Do we have to do that? Or Does she have to order the table? No, no. No, your documents I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Laying of documents. Uh, Madam President. Madam President, I have a host of documents to lay over this morning. I have signed and uh, initialed them all and for the savings of time if I were just to read them mm -hmm. from the order paper um, and then lay them over the bundle maybe one or two small comments I'd make about two items that I think are of significance but it wouldn't be more than 30 seconds in respect to each let's keep it to 30 seconds then absolutely mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so very much Madam President it's okay with you Madam Opposition Acting leader, <laughs> acting leader for today. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Um, thank as you. As long as it's thirty seconds. Uh, okay. Madam President, I beg leave to lay over the Central Bank of the Bahamas Amendment Order 2018, dealing with currencies, notes, and coins. Amendment Order 2018. Um, the Industries Encouragement Approved Products O Natural Aromatherapy Order 2018. The Industries Encouragement Act approved manufacturer O, Natural Aromatherapy Order 2018, which may be a repeat, but if not, I read it out of an abundance of caution because it may re relate to some other aspect that needed to be covered in a separate order. The Judicial and Legal Services um, Prescribed Public Offices Act 
amendment to schedule order 28A. Um, this order um, firmly establishes now as a public service office the post of director of the Law Reform Commission and establishes a structure with a deputy director and um, I think an assistant director so that you have firmly established public service postings to underpin and support the works of the Law Reform Commission as a whole and the Law Reform Commissioner in particular. So clearly defined responsibilities as between all uh, and duties and la uh, of all persons within that structure. So I'm very happy to see that that has finally come about. <clears throat> the next uh, document is the Planning and Subdivisions Golf Course La Playa Order 2018. Um, the next document is the Price Controls General Amendment Regulations 2018. Uh, now several notices. Um, <clears throat> the Electricity Amendment Act 2018 Appointed Day Notice 2018. The Electricity Rate Reduction Bond Amendment Act 2018 Appointed Day Notice 2018. The Freedom of Information Act, appointed day notice 2018. This uh, appointed day notice relates to section 47, the whistleblower protection provisions, and brings them into force of, as of the appointed date. Uh, the Constitutional Amendment Act 2017, appointed day notice 2018. Um, this is a very significant bit of legislation. It's the first time that the Constitution of the Bahamas in its history would have been amended uh, by Act of Parliament um, and that amendment carried into law. And uh, as of the 18th day of May of this year, in other words, last week, the Director of Public Prosecutions of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas um, was created as an independent, tenured, and protected post under the constitutional law of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And so the days of attorneys generals signing nollies prosequi, or <laughs> maybe not signing them personally, <laughs> are over. The days of what could have been seen as political supervision of the prosecutorial arm are over in the Bahamas. As of this day, we have an independent, autonomous director of public prosecutions, fully responsible for all aspects of the conduct of his office, which is now separate but integrated at certain points for necessary cooperation purposes with the Office of the Attorney General. So I congratulate the newest independent, first independent director of public prosecutions of the Bahamas, Mr. Garvin Gaskin. Moving on, the public holidays with Monday 2018, opening of shops notice, 2018. The Bahamas Registered Stock Directions, 2018. Bahamas Registered Stock, 2012, 2023, 2025, 2028, and 2038. That's how long in advance we've been paying for people who purchase these stocks. Anyway, continuing. The Bahamas Registered Stock Directions, 2018. Bahamas Registered Stock, 2038. Slight typo here. The Bahamas Registered Stock Directions, 2018. Bahamas Registered Stock, 2019. And the following reports, Madam President. The Manpower Audit of the Royal Bahamas Police Force 2018. I encourage all senators to read. It's a very informative document. 
very enlightening. The Nursing Council, Commonwealth of the Bahamas, financial statements for the years, the year ending 31st December 2016. The Water and Sewerage Cooperation Project MACO report, um, prepared by Ernst and Young, of February 9th, 2018. The Bahamas Agricultural and Industrial Cooperation financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2012 and an independent auditor's report. The Bahamas Agricultural and Industrial Cooperation financial statements, audited financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2013 and independent auditor's report. Madam President, those are the only documents to be tabled today. Thank you. Order that all the documents be brought up. Again, order that all the documents be brought up. Order that the documents do lie on the table. Communications by ministers? None. Communications <coughs> by senators? The chair recognizes Senator the Honorable uh, Joe Beth Colby Davis. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, thank you, Madam President. I have, the, I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Madam okay, President, I, I just want to present apologies on behalf of my colleagues that are absent today, Senator Mitchell, Senator Darvel, and Senator Sweeting. They're absent because they had prearranged um, travel engagements, some having to do with family and health and other reasons. Um, and Madam President, I just wanted to use this point to make a point of order on the fact that the Senate is adjourning at unfixed date. We in the PLP are concerned with the fact that they the Senate adjourns on unfixed date, and because of this reason, many members are unable to engage and dispose of their duties that they are charged with as um, senators. And so we in the PLP were, were requesting that we can possibly have the Senate at a fixed date, maybe once a week we come and meet, or once every two weeks. And if there's no business to be dealt with, then at that meeting, we can set it to a fixed date for businesses to be dealt with. Because it's quite disrupting that we're adjourning with unfixed date, and then out of the blue, there's a date set for us to come in, and other people have prearranged engagement. So we would hope that at some point, that I can sit down with Madam President and the leader of government business in the Senate to discuss this and possibly come to an agreement to have some fixed dates for senators to meet. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Colby. Madam President. Uh, just the chair recognizes Senator the think, Honorable Carl Bethel. I think it would be good for you before you go ahead to, to hear what I have to say before, just for balance. Thank you, Madam President. I sat in this honorable chamber in two spells in opposition under the former administration. Between 2005 and 2007, and um, between, oh gosh, 2010, or I, I, no, sometime after uh, 2015 or so, okay? So let's, let's get the facts right. Now, the facts are these, that when I served here the first time under, uh, I was right, uh, the leader of opposition business then was Senator o uh, Tommy Turnquist. And every time the Senate adjourned, he made the same complaint. And when I had the uh, blessing, if you will, to serve here as leader of opposition business before the last election, I similarly complained every time. It's standard operating procedure for opposition to complain. But as a matter of record, let, it, let, let, let the record be clear. We tried to perform more like the House of Assembly by setting return dates. The difficulty that we faced, and 
your leader certainly well knows it because he and I have exchanged messages on this on a number of occasions, is that the House of Assembly, because of the way in which the House sometimes will compromise if points are raised, they'll delay the passage of something in order to give consideration to an opposition position. And so matters that are supposed to end on one day don't end until the week after, but we anticipating that it would end had set the Senate date. On two occasions we came here where we had to just come and open and close. So, you know, with all respect, I, I accept that, but un until the House settles down its procedures and we can have greater certainty, it's going to be very difficult. But I will say this, I will say this, that we do have a number of bills now, and we are going through the budget period where the House will traditionally take a two-week break, and over the next several weeks, we will be able to determine by consensus on fixed dates for us to move all of these pre-budget bills and get them passed before we get into our own budget debate. Thank you. Thank you, Senators. Having b heard from both of you, as the Chief Presiding Officer of this chamber, I will seek to have a discussion with my colleague in the other house uh, to see how we can better facilitate both um, I believe it is, is uh, your point, Senator Davis, is, is timely, and I know that um, S Senator Bethel has also tried to have those fixed dates, but they did not work out. But we will, as I said, as Chief Presiding Officer, I will have a conversation with my colleague and see how we can best um, deal with those fixed dates. Thank you very much. Questions? Answers to questions? Present None. Presentations of petitions? None. Appointment of select committees. None. Reports of committees. None. First reading of bills. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. No, this doesn't have the MNE bill. We need the MNE bill, Multinational Enterprises Bill. It was passed by the House. <laughs> it's not here. It's not here. Maybe it's on the no. Anyway, we'll go to what we have. We'll go to what we have. We'll go with what we have. No. No, no, no. Um, Mr. Clark, the Multinational Enterprises Financial Reporting Bill is not here. That was passed by the House. Mm -hmm. It's not here. See it right there? This one. This no, this one, exemption. This one, yeah. Oh, you have, oh, one, yeah. okay, so it's not only one, okay, all right. My apologies. What has happened is in the message there are two bills attached to one binder, but well, then it could have been three, and so this is what threw me off. I expected one. No, there's only one. One bill. Okay. I, I, I would have thought that each bill would have had its own binder, but that's not for me to determine. Um, let me start with the one, and then I'll do the two. Madam President, I beg leave to move for the first reading of a bill for an act to provide for the interception of communications and the provision of information for interception in the Bahamas and for related matters, if I may attain a second. Is there a second? Second. It has been moved and seconded that the following bill be read a first time in table a bill for an act to provide for the interception of communications and the provision of information for interception in the Bahamas and for related matters. Order that the bill be read a first time. I'm sorry, as many are in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Order that the bill be read a first time. For the first reading. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I beg leave to move um, for a bill for an act to promote greater access to affordable homes through the grant of certain exemptions for the building of dwelling homes on serviced lots within a government-owned subdivision, the short title of which is the Access to Affordable Homes Bill 2018. Is there a second? Madam President, I rise to second.
It has been moved and seconded that the following <coughs> bill be read a first time and table. A bill for an act to promote greater access to affordable homes through the grant of certain exemptions for the building of dwelling homes on service lots within a government-owned subdivision. As many are in favor would say aye. 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 Those opposed nay. The ayes have it. Order that the bill be read a first time. For the first reading. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Madam President, I beg leave to move for the first reading of a bill for an act to provide for country by country reporting of profit or losses attributed to entities incorporated or resident within the Bahamas. Um, the short title of which is the Multinational Entities Financial Reporting Bill 2018. Please. If I may obtain a second. Arise the second, Madam President. It has been moved and seconded that the following bill be read a first time and table. A bill for an act, as many are in favor would say aye. aye. Those opposed nay. Order that the bill be read a first time. Further first readings? No further first reading. Yeah, I'll take these copy of copy of this one. Oh. That one. Oh, you all did put two in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Madam President, I beg leave to move for the first reading of a bill for an act to amend the Electricity Act, being the, elect the short title of which is the Electricity Amendment Number 2 Bill of 2018. That's a third on one sheet. Okay. Is there a second? Arise a second, Madam President. It has been moved and seconded that the following bill be read a first time and table, a bill for an act to amend the Electricity Act. All those in favor would say aye. aye. Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Order that the bill be read a first time and table. Further first reading? No further first readings. Yeah, uh, we could suspend. Uh, yeah, we could suspend. Yeah, but I, I, I will. Um, we just. Can I sign it when we finish? Because it would take long. Yeah. Okay, I'll sign when we finish. Madam, Madam President, um, first of all, yeah, we. Um, I would uh, wish to move a motion for suspension. Um, let me just observe that if perhaps we can pack up the order paper with bills we can move to a more orderly procedure coming forward. So I will give notice now of where I think we will be going. We'll be coming back um, on Monday, uh, coming, to debate the Multinational um, Enterprises Financial Reporting Bill. And then the following Monday, one week later, we'll come back to debate the Affordable um, Homes Bill. And after that, we, we may have one more week before the budget debate commences in the other place. If so, we'll look at the Electricity Act as well, okay? And uh, then we'll make other judgments later. So if uh, I will also send a note to the leader on the opposition side. On that note, Madam President, um, I beg leave to move that this, the business of the Senate be suspended mm -hmm. until Monday the 28th of May, because I'm traveling again, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, 2018 at 10 p.m. in the morning. A.M. 10 a.m. in the morning. The morning. Yeah, I got the morning right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what we call a catch-all. Um, at which time um, we would hope to debate the Multinational Enterprises Bill. Thank you. Is there a second? I second, Madam President. It has been moved and seconded that the business of the Senate suspend to Monday, May 28th at 10 a.m. All those in favor would say aye. Those opposed, nay. The business of the House is now suspended to Monday, May 28th at 10 a.m.